Hi everyone, welcome back. We are playing Overcrowd. We're on the last level and our goal is to fill the entire map, opening all of the tracks and entr entrances, uh, which is a bit of a challenge, uh, considering right now we can't even keep our lights on and the blood mopped up. Uh, so we have our work cut out for us. When we last left off, the station had just closed, so we need to go around doing our closing routines. I we raised up the prices on our things on our phone booths and we sold a lot less phone calls than we had the previous uh previous day so i'm gonna lower them back down and see how we make out to six pounds it could just be that everyone who wanted to use a phone booth did and because we had this third phone booth in, it was kind of a spoiler, but I don't think that's the case. I think that raising the, the prices of the phone calls uh, kind of ruined, ruined our sales as it does. We still have not sold any sweets and we're only making a pound profit on that. So I don't know that there's anything we can do on that. Where is it at? Sweets, total sales, zero. It's $2. And these people uh, think it's too much. We're not giving away free candy. That's crazy, right? Right, it is. I think that's all that this really has to offer us for right now. Um, we want to do a couple things. We want to open up an, another entrance. We want to open up the second side of our track. But I'm wondering if before we open up this entrance, we should put in this track up here. Will we be able to handle the footfall from a full entrance? I don't know if we can or not. What I do know is we have 6,000 pounds and that is gonna be more than enough to expand over to this side of the track. So I'm going to do that and because I'm gonna to have to move these advertisements one at a time, build the track, <laughs> it's gonna be a mess. And I will bring you back when the station is expanded and we're ready to open. Okay, here we are. We are just about ready to open the doors, kind of. I think the station is picked up and we enlarged the other side of the platform here. I went ahead and take, took a look at the heat map and yeah, it is very hot in here. So we want to make sure to get, uh, to get an air conditioner in while we have the money for it. A little cool coolomatic um and we still have a bit of money left and I'm really I'm really not sure how we want to do this I went ahead and moved these tiles here because when we open up this entrance we are not gonna have a lot of room for uh, ticket machines and turnstiles so I don't think we can afford to have like the commerce creep into this side of the map towards this entrance. So I moved the hot dog stand over to this way right here. And I'm also wondering if we want to put in our second track before we open up that entrance. Because if we come up here, we can cover we can cover up to over this uh, bottom track down here. And that is gonna give us a lot of lobby area that we can work with, that we can put in more like tool rooms. Maybe we'll move our machine room over to this side over here somehow. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we wanna do something like that is what I'm thinking. So let's pencil in, oh, I don't wanna, delete any of our lobby. Let's pencil in this track. So that is 22 plus four is 26, seven, eight, nine, 10. Oh, well, there goes for counting. We're just gonna have to put this in and see what we get. Let's see. And now our second platform, five carriages, two more cells. So we're three over, is that? Oh wait, no. Or two under, six, 
Okay, you need two more tiles. One, two. And we could put this platform right here and fill in all of that dirt with floor tiles, which means that we can have a bigger tool room. We can put a tool room up there. I think our machine room is okay down here for now, but we're gonna have to move that in order to access this entrance. But where do we want to come in at if we do this like this? I think, I think we'd wanna come in like up here in order to give us enough room for stairs. Maybe, perhaps. Let's move some of this stuff and see what happens. I'm not putting in that. I'm not putting in the track yet because that'll mess up our entrances and all kinds of weird stuff. Um, how would this work? Uh, not well. Um, here is our track. This is the end of our track. What about if we went like this? Um, lower these down, lower those down, what if we put our stairs, at the very edge right here, that so they lined up with the track. What are, these are only 200 pounds. We're just gonna have to put one in to experiment with this, I think. That would put, that would put this right to there. Let's lower all of this tile. All of this tile. And let's move some more of this stuff. More of these signs. Oh, that's kind of neat, isn't it? So if we were able to, and we need three tiles, where where does our train track come in at? And we're down to 1,300 pounds, so yeah, we're not gonna be able to put in this track. Can't afford it. <laughs> like I said, we're not gonna be able to afford this track. What is it, 1,600 for a track? Put this object in the way. Of course there is. Let's try this again. Okay, so the track. So the track goes there. Here is the puzzle part of the part of the uh, game and we have three tile leeway so if I mean absolutely if we put in if we had the stairs coming up right like this it could be really nice right because the stairs can come right up here and then a second set right here or escalators 
and that will get everybody to the top of that platform and we still have we have like a little roundabout over here with our obstacles okay I like that I like that. I think we're going to save up money and that's what we are going to aim for. I'm going to go ahead and clean up all of these advertisements and I will bring you back. Okay, we did what we could with the station. I went ahead and I had to sell some of this tile over here. We needed a generator and I want to wait until the train comes in before we put footbridges across. So I only have that platform open to the one side. Uh, get our off shift staff in. I rearranged the tool room. Uh, Lewis is going to not carry an information tablet any longer. I'm going to give the information tablet to Adams and whoever that other chick is. Who is she? Moore. <laughs> Adams and Moore are both going to have information tablets. Um, not because they're particularly fast or good at them, but it will help them level up the fastest which will make them better staff. So we want that. Phillips is going to water that really quick. Lewis, grab the tools, then your med kit, then the gas can, then the megaphone, and you may get out here. Phillips, unequip that and get your litter stick instead. Go over there and let's call in our train and then we need to put in footbridges and it looks like we're going to put them in right here and here or should we just do one? Oh, I'm not sure because we wanna be able to get to people with diseases as quick as possible. So maybe we do one here, which is right by the entrance and that hot dog cart. And then maybe we put one right over here, which lines up with that. Yeah, that is good, right? I think. So let's open this track to both. Oh, I think we have to wait until the train leaves to open that to both sides. Yeah, I like it. Let's get the rest of our staff in. Well, we can leave it running. I have a really, oh, who are our people that we could hire? We're looking for litter and medical, I think, is who we can use. She has no perception. Uh, this one has no good skills. No, we don't really like those. Let's call in Moore and Adams and give them their new tools. Moore, Moore is refuse, so mop, litter stick. Now she's gonna carry an information tablet. Go out there. Adams, you are defib. Uh, defib, please. Adams needs speed in the worst way. Med kit and information tablet and go do good things. Hold on. There we go, that's better. Let's call our train. And Phillips, come over here. What is all this? No seat, no seat. Hmm. Yes, no seat is correct. Someone has the flu, and of course Phillips is going to get it first. Poor Adams. It's looking pretty, uh, pretty barren. Um, I'm not sure how this, if this clock is helping out or not. I know that it did not generate much reputation. 13. Power drain. Now, according to this, we don't have enough generators. Do you see that? 
Power drain, 1255. We're generating 1250. And all three of these things aren't on. So does that mean we need another generator? I think we should get one just in case. I think is the answer there, right? There probably has to be a better way to put things in here. Oh well. And how is the heat map for the station? Ninety-nine, eighty-eight, seventy-nine. All of that looks good. Go repair that, just so I feel like I'm paying you guys to do something. We have all of this staff and not one little bit is happening. Phillips, go down here. There's Adams. Adams is going to do something. Oh, look, same perfect timing. That's right. Get it done. Phillips and Lewis are too fast. They're taking all the jobs away from these kids. Yeah, and he's late. Do we need these signs on both sides of the tracks? That's pretty crazy. Good job, Adams. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think we can, uh, well, actually, maybe we can. Is this train filling up? 24? Let's just sit here and watch for a second. Not very fast for having both sides of the track open, if you ask me. Yeah, it looks like the trains fill up. Or if not exactly fill up, darn close to it. There's 35, 36. 36, and we still have a crowd of people in here. And this lobby area isn't going to give us much to work with, so I think opening up the second track before we open up another entrance is definitely the way to go. And I'm wondering if we can't do that now. Oh, what about, yeah, this, I don't think this clock, well, it might. It might affect lateness, I really don't know, but. Let's move it. <laughs> and lose seven <laughs> and 7% 7 rep in the process for doing it. It's fine. It's not a problem. There's a crowd over here. Maybe we want this side of the platform to be three tiles wide. Oh, good job, more. That's what we were hoping for. Speed. Be fast. And we're already back up to 100% rep. And the station is almost closed, so I think... Let's see if we can build just for a minute while everyone is here. So we can get everything set up. You know what I mean, right? And a train. I hate to put this in. Let's put this in last. <laughs> Let's put that in last. And then what do we need? Floor tiles over here. And we need escalators, right? Yeah, let's do it. And of course that hamburger sign is in the way. That will help with the uh, being tired too. Or do we wanna do two? 
you know what, let's just do one escalator. One. Because I'm not sure if we want to put it right here or on this wall over here. Yeah, I'm not sure. So we have an escalator. At least another generator. Um, the right stock. <laughs> um, escalator. One and two. Go to platform two. We need an exit. We need an ex exit. Okay. And I say we put it there. And that leaves enough room to um, to, net, to add another escalator going up if need be. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Um, how much money do we have? Do we have enough generators? Did we ever add another one? I think we might need two more. Is everything set up properly? We have no lights. No lights or no trash cans, which is a problem. And we have a couple hours to make some money. <gasps> you don't have enough money to build that. That's crazy. There we go. Go ahead and go use your new habitat, commuters. Someone has range. How many people are in the break room? Adams, get out here. You get out here too. And Phillips, go over here. Nobody needs a break right now, we're gonna close. We just have a brand new expansion. The game froze a little bit on that autosave. Look at all the disease. Oh, let's get the track up. Yeah, we need medical and litter for our 10th person. For a 10th person we can hire, I think that is what we want to do, absolutely. It's a good look at our new platform. What's going on up here, guys? They're viewing the advertisements? Oh, no. on station. And I guess they have to sit right on top of those indicator boards in order for that to, uh, to for them to get the hint. Brute. here. Good job, Adams. And Adams, go get a drink and then you may go home. Good job mopping up the blood more. We always, we always appreciate that. 
Just start emptying the trash if you would. Phillips is already on it. Phillips, you start over there. High prices, bad shopping, moving objects. Overcrowded, but it wasn't that overcrowded. So yeah, we made a good, we want to get this, finish getting this open. And then we want to open up the second platform for sure. I am, but we really don't have money to spend on that right now. So that is not gonna be for the next little while. Keep emptying the trash. Lewis, I'm sorry, start repairing stuff. Adams, Adams, you are good enough to go home. Thank you for coming in. Lewis is working, Moore is working. Repair. Repair. And I think that is going to be all for this episode. It's a little shorter than uh, usual, but that's not a bad thing, right? Right. And when we come back, uh, the station will be all nice and all nice and clean. More go. Oh nope. Is there any trash in any of these? One one. Go get that trash. When we come back, the station will be all nice and clean, and yeah, and we will finish building up this platform over here, which I think we might change this. Once we have this platform built all the way over to here, we might put the turn, take the turnstiles and move the turnstiles um, going this way, stairs up and then turnstiles here, and let the traffic route through here and then around into a circle that way. That might be a thing, uh, but yeah, we will figure it out next time. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your likes and your comments. I do appreciate them. And until next time, bye-bye.